The thyroid is a gland in the front portion of the neck that secretes thyroid hormone, but quite commonly in the thyroid itself, nodules or small masses can grow. Many of these are benign processes, not being cancer, but certainly some of them can be cancerous, which pose a risk to the patient. Nodules are often asymptomatic. They don't cause too many symptoms, but occasionally patients can feel a fullness in the neck or some difficulty swallowing, or rarely some pain or discomfort or hoarseness of voice. Thyroid cancer is a growth in the thyroid itself that is malignant. That means it doesn't behave the normal growth patterns and stay within the confines of the gland itself. It can spread like any malignancy, and when it does that, it can become quite dangerous. There are several different types of thyroid cancer. The most common types we refer to as well-differentiated thyroid carcinoma, and they include papillary thyroid carcinoma and follicular thyroid carcinoma. These represent probably 90 to 95 percent of most thyroid malignancies. There are other more rare thyroid carcinomas, often referred to as medullary thyroid carcinoma or anaplastic carcinoma. These can be more dangerous and require urgent attention. Any patient who has symptoms in the front of their neck or patients who have risk factors for thyroid carcinoma should undergo, at a minimum, a regular examination of their neck by a physician. If the neck examination is not as sensitive because of various issues, an ultrasound of the thyroid can also be performed. The risk factors that would warrant a regular evaluation would be childhood exposure to radiation or if a patient has a family member who also has thyroid carcinoma or certain other rare genetic syndromes that can carry with it uh, an increased risk for thyroid carcinoma. Once there is a suspicion of any mass or nodule in the thyroid or a concern for a new symptom, we recommend that a patient first be evaluated by an endocrinologist. This will usually lead to an ultrasound of the neck or thyroid area, which will easily identify if a nodule is present. If a nodule is identified, we recommend an ultrasound-guided fine needle aspiration be performed. This is a small, very simple, and minimally invasive procedure that does not carry much pain or discomfort, but can provide a lot of information telling us whether the nodule is benign or rarely malignant. If a patient is identified to have thyroid carcinoma, treatment is important. Usually, the first treatment surrounds removing the thyroid or thyroid surgery. In many cases, a secondary treatment will also be required, which is called radioactive iodine. This is actually a small pill that is swallowed and is easily administered, but does require a lot of planning and also some precautions that must be followed. Here at the Brigham and Women's Hospital, we have a world-class interdisciplinary team that treats thyroid nodules and thyroid cancer. This includes fabulous surgeons, a world-class pathologist and radiologist, and a leading team of thyroidologists. We all work together to help every patient individualize their care and achieve the best and most efficient approach to treatment. With that, we believe that we provide each and every patient with outstanding care.